In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this mint gelato design in Canva in just a few minutes, which is perfect for your product or campaigns that you want to use. We're using two types of animations where you can see the flow animation as well as a custom animation where you can have things pop up at your own pace. I'll break the tutorial down into two parts. First, we'll make the design and secondly, we will look at the animation part. Now, if you want to save some time while making designs in Canva, I also sell templates which you can download via the link in the description below. Let's start with the first part, which is the creation of the design. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first we want to change the background colors. Select the background and go to the color wheel. And here we want to go for a gradient option. So scroll down and choose any gradient that you like. Go to add new color. And now we're going to make it a circular gradient. We want to have the darkest part on the outside. So we're going to shift the colors around. This way we get the dark part on the outside but also want to change the colors. So for the light, I'm going to go for the colors A5, EB75. Press enter. And for the darkest part, I'm going for the color code 117430. And also press enter here. And this gives us a nice color where we will have the center light up. Now we're going to add the elements to the slide and we're starting with the main element, the ice cream. So go to elements and here type in ice cream. Go to photos. And here you can look for any ice cream that you like. I'm going for this mint ice cream and add it to the slide. Let's expand it a bit and place it at the bottom right. Now let's look for some mint leaves. So I'm going to clear the selection and look for mint leaf. Go to photos, see all. And I'm going to add a few to the slide. This one looks quite cool. Now I'm going to add somewhere in the bottom and then scroll down and add some variations. You can reduce or increase them in size as you like. Let's add a few individual leaves as well, make those smaller and rotate them. You can always Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create a copy and then just rotate them and turn them around. Or you can hold the option key and drag to create a copy. I think on Windows it's the Ctrl key and drag. And then just spread them out a bit on the design. Let's look for a few more leaves. I think this one will do quite well. And they're all looking somewhat similar in color, so that is always good to have some similarity in the leaves. The only one standing out is the one used in the actual picture for me. So this one is a bit more brown and yellow, so I don't really like that, I think I'll change it. So I'm going to select the image and go to edit, and then go for magic eraser. And here I can choose the brush size and just paint over that leaf doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer we can get, the better. And also on the second leaf, I'm going to trace that and try to remove it. And then press erase and let the magic eraser do its work. It will do quite a good job of erasing that. And I think we can fill it up with one of our own leaves. So here we see it does a pretty good job. I'm going to erase that last part again. Sometimes you might need to do it for the finishing touches again. Then go back. And here we can see the leaves have been nicely erased. Let's fill that up with something more fresh. So go back to mint leaf, photos, and let's take these, for example, they're fresh and bright and green. That is what we want. I'm going to place them on top, but you can also position, layer, and then drag them underneath the product. This way we have a nice layered effect of that picture. I think this looks quite good. Now as a little trick to create some depth to the slide, you can select one of the leaves, go to edit and blur, select whole image and increase the blur intensity to somewhere in the 80s. It can be quite a lot. Then go to copy style and just paste that on the other individual leaves. And as you can see, it will add some depth to the slide and the other leaves and elements will jump to the front. So it feels like those are somewhere in the back. You can make them a bit smaller, maybe. That the leaves are floating in the back and they're a bit smaller. You can also overlap them or put them halfway behind the other objects. If you position and drag them underneath, that will create some depth to the slide. Same here, we can add a leaf behind that main subject. And it will sort of give that impression that there's some depth in the slide and the focus of the image is going to be the the main ice cream here now let's add some text to the slide and for that i'm going to the text box and add a title 
Here I'm choosing mint, I'm typing in the word, and I'm placing it in this open area. For the font, I'm going for something more playful. And in this case, I'm using the 10 songbird. So if you want, you can always filter it down. 10, and there's a few options here. And we're going for this very bold 10 songbird. We're going to increase it or expand the selection and then reduce it in size a bit. So that nicely fits in the empty area here on the left. For the color, I'm going to go for a very bright green. Maybe it can be a bit brighter, we'll see in a second. And then go to effects and choose a neon effect. Here we can see it's quite weird, so I'm going to increase the intensity all the way to the right so that it's bright and white almost with this light shiny effect on the sides. I'm going to hold control or option and shift to create a copy and then scale it down to have a subtitle. And this is going to be the gelato. Let's increase it just a bit and place it underneath. And let's increase this leaf. I think we might be able to bring it to the front. Control X, Control V. And then increase it so we have a slight overlap on the words. I think that always looks nice. There we go. And one of the leaves, maybe we have it here in between the words. I think that looks good. And then this one we can float at the bottom. Now let's add some circles. So I'm going to add an element. And here look for circle. Go to graphics. And then choose one of the hand-drawn ones. I like this paintbrush effect. I'm going to place it in the middle in this open spot. I'm going to make it white and a bit larger. We're going to copy this gelato text, so Control C, Control V. And the effects, we can turn it off because we want a regular green effect. I'm going to go for a price, so let's say it's going to be four. And the font, it can be a bit darker. Let's see if we can find one of the existing colors. But ideally, I want something that resembles the background. So I'm going to go to the color wheel again, use the color picker, and grab one of the colors from the background. Create a copy and type in 99. So it's almost $5 or euros or whatever currency you want to put it in. Let's close this and position that as a superscript. That seems to be quite good. Select both, increase it a bit, and then group them together. Hold shift and select that circle, and also group that together. Now I think this is quite dominant in the front, so I'm going to go to position, and then drag it underneath the other leaves. I want to have it behind this leaf, so I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom. Now we can maybe increase it in size. That was too much, I think it was quite okay. Just like this, very subtle. Maybe we can add one of the leaves in front so that it's sort of floating in front of there and this one maybe we can also slightly overlap it make it a bit larger there we go and then you can choose to play around with the elements if you want more or less that is totally up to you to choose whatever design style you want to go for but i think this one looks quite good let's now look at the animation part of this design and for that we're going to the show thumbnail view and create a duplicate. I always like to work on a duplicate version so we have the first one as the original. I'm going to duplicate it once more and on the second page, I'm going to remove all of the components except for the background color. Then I'm going to hover in between the slides and add transition and go for a flow transition. Let's so increase to about two seconds and the direction can be from the right. And this way you see if we preview it, we have an empty slide and as soon as we click, we nicely have all the elements flow in. So that's already a pre-made animation that is pretty easy and convenient to use. Now let's have a look at how we can animate it individually. So for that, I'm going to duplicate it once more and I'm going to group some parts together. So this one here acts as one shape and I want to combine it with the leaf. So group that together, animate, and I think a cool rise animation will suffice for this one. Speed can be a bit slower. I don't think we need too fast of an animation. Then let's go for the large chunks here at the bottom. They can go for a pan. Now it would be cool if they pan from the different sides. So I'm going to reduce the speed and then select them individually. First, let's do the right one, pan, 
and then change the direction so it flies in from the right to the left. So both come in from the sides. This one here can have a pop animation. And then I want all the other leaves, the small ones, also to have a pop animation. So you can go to position, select the two leaves, and hold the control key to select multiple at a time. Once you've selected them all, you can go to animate and use pop. Let's also not do it too fast. And then they will pop up after each other, which is what we want. Now two more things. The text, for that I think a regular pen will work. And then the price, let's see what fits for that, the groups part at least. For this one, let's see if we can do a breathe animation. Oops, now I've only selected this circle, so I'm going to position, select the entire group part, animate, and let's maybe do a blur animation. I think that will be good. A breed that it keeps on growing and I don't want that. So this looks quite good. Let's close the animation tab. And what I think would be good is if we duplicate this empty page, we drag it in between the animations, add a flow animation. So we have an outflow as well. Let's do the same speed, about two seconds. That's good. And then in this one, we can flow. We don't need an animation. We can turn it off for the last one because we want to have that pop-up animation or the custom animations. Now let's preview what we have created. And this is how you can create this really cool mint gelato animation in Canva in just a few minutes with two custom animations where you have the flow animation as well as the custom pop-up animation as you like it. Thanks a lot for watching and if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.